Hi guys, it's Intuitive144. Oh my god, I am a psychic medium along with being a physical medium. Today I'm having a bad hair day, so don't comment on that because you guys like to comment on shit. I'm a psychic medium, a physical medium. I say physical medium because I am able to feel things. Um, but most importantly, how I work is I just look at you. I'm not a tarot reader. I just look at you and spirit gives me messages, okay? $40 for a picture reading, $72 for a 30 minute reading, $144 for an hour session, unless you take advantage of my $60 Black Friday sale um, for the 30 minute and hour sessions there, $60. All right, and it ends uh, November 30th, I believe. All right. Um, so let's begin. I'm going to be doing Whoopi Goldberg. I meditated on her energy and this is what I have. <sighs> Sit back, drink your tea, drink your Don Julio, and enjoy this motherfucking roller coaster bitch because this is one hell of a roller coaster. All right. So I laid down and I meditated on her energy, right? So Spirit said she is a tainted soul. All right. So taint means a trace of a bad quality or substance. Now, I have been saying for months that she is a Karen and I have yet to make a video about her energy. And I hate when I have an urge to do, you know, celebrity, you know, or someone and then I don't do it. And then, you know, something comes out in the news about their behavior. And I'm like, oh, I should have been said this because if I talk about it now, I'm just going to look like a fraud. But anyways, I'm still going to continue because I have a two, I think one prediction um, that I've seen in her energy, right? So let's, let's continue. She is literally her character from the color purple, but not in a positive way. All right. Not in a, I believe in myself. I love myself kind of way. Okay. She is genuinely battling. Like she's really battling deep rooted insecurities okay she likes the idea of being a dark-skinned woman but she doesn't like the reality of being a dark-skinned women woman they keep allowing me to see and feel like confident women make her proud as long as they don't challenge her don't disagree with her if you agree with her everything's good everything's amazing but if the moment you disagree with her there's a problem. And don't you dare be a strong, confident, dark-skinned woman. Now, I am genuinely feeling she wishes she was light-skinned, okay? She thinks she's happy. This is kind of similar to Mary J. Blodge's energy, okay? I am genuinely feeling she wishes she was light-skinned. She thinks she's happy, and she thinks she loves herself, but she doesn't. I genuinely believe that she may be whitewashed, okay? Whitewash came up a bunch of times in her energy. I genuinely believe she may be whitewashed without realizing, okay? Um, who's that guy from the boondocks with the fucked up eye? I forget his name, but they're showing me a vision of him. Uncle Ruckus, there we go. She's kind of like an Uncle Ruckus, but in a subtle, calm way, okay? Right, so um, they so spirit showed me a vision of her friends setting. So in this vision, her friend, you know, let's say there this she looked to be about fifteen, sixteen, or or so, so, no, I'm lying. Maybe like around twenty twenty one. Her friend is setting up a dating app for Whoopi, right? And she downloads blackpeoplemeet.com. This is very important. Pay attention, guys. The friend downloads blackpeoplemeet.com. She's like, Whoopi, girl, you need a boyfriend. Let me help you out. And so she downloads blackpeoplemeet.com. She sets up Whoopi's account and she, sent, she gives the phone back to Whoopi. And Whoopi's like, okay, nice. You use nice pictures of me. Then she's like, wait, hold on. What app is this? And she realizes that it's blackpeoplemeet.com. She deletes the app and she downloads whitepeoplemeet.com. She did that in a vision. So energetically to me, she is absolutely uncomfortable in her blackness. She is heavily insecure to the point where if you compliment her, she will say thank you. But deep inside, she's upset at the fact 
that you complimented her, okay? She is very difficult to deal with if you're black. If you're trying to help her, if you're figuring things out for her, and you just so happen to be black, she's very difficult, okay, towards you. However, she's easy to deal with if you're a white person trying to help her out. She doesn't really comply. I am sensing Karen energy. I said this months ago, and I don't care what nobody tells me. I am energetically picking up on her wanting to be around white people because they support her rather than the black community. This is pure whitewashing, okay? All right, and, and energetically, I am sensing she is extremely controlling, extremely controlling, and Spirit said she has a bland personality, all right? So energetically, as the vision, you know, morphs, the energy kind of changes. Um, energetically, I'm picking up on nobody wanting to deal with her. I feel like only her children can handle, deal, tolerate, you know, slash tolerate her. Everyone else, they're just pretending, okay? Um, I don't feel like she will ever have a fulfilling relationship that will last long because energetically, it feels like she scares people away. She runs them away. That She's just difficult. They keep allowing me to feel like Whoopi has a lot of unrealistic requests and she doesn't view it this way. She doesn't see it this way, okay? She's very difficult is, is what they're allowing me to see and feel, okay? Like, they're showing me a vision of her right now at Starbucks. I want a half pump of chai milk, 13 drops of ca caramel syrup, but make sure you spin the syrup clockwise because if you don't, it creates a, a bubble effect. Then after that, I want you to add foam, but take some of the foam. Like, that's like, damn, bitch, just order a iced coffee and keep it pushing. Let me tell you something, bitch. If I had, because I never worked at Starbucks, but bitch, let me tell you something, bitch. Would the people like that, you gotta be like, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay, half a, mm -hmm. And bitch, do whatever the fuck you want to do when you actually make that iced coffee, bitch. I don't have time for the two. But first of all, bitch, when I go to, okay, this is not about me. Anyways, so let's go back. But yeah, she has a lot of unrealistic requests and she doesn't view it this way, okay? So Spirit showed me a vision of her giving an actress advice, okay? They're at a dinner table and she's giving an actress advice and she says to the, to the actress, listen, hon, you should listen to me. I mean, really, I have an Oscar. Obviously, I'm doing something right. But Whoopi... Mm, they gonna tear me up for this. I might be, I might, I might be attacked. I might get attacked for what I'm about to say. Whoopi, if you see this, you are a phenomenal actress. I will never negate that. Everything that I'm about to say is what I've seen in the visions and what I'm picking up on in your energy, energetically. You are a phenomenal actress. However, from what Spirit showed me, showed me whatever. You won the Oscar because they're showing... You only won the Oscar because they're... Sh excuse me. You won the Oscar because they're showing me a vision of a director or whoever has the power to grant people Oscars. They're showing me a vision of this masculine favoring you because of something. Maybe he liked you or maybe... This was around the time where the Oscars, you know, were being harassed for only letting white, you know, actor, actors and actresses win, you know. But it doesn't feel like you won based on your talent, which is crazy to me because you are a phenomenal actress. And I think you won a, the, uh, an award for The Color Purple. You were, an ama you were amazing in that film, right? But they are allowing me to feel like they only allowed you to feel like you won because of your acting, but it was really for something else. And you let this Oscar get in your head and it energetically feels like you won by default. I don't know. All right, anyways, transferring out of that energy, Spirit said she needs to be compliant, however, she will never be, all right? Her ego is out of this world. She's right, you're wrong. She's right, you're wrong. Okay, so, you know, for Whoopi, this is very unfortunate because I am, you know, trying to pull some positive stuff, you know, in your energy, but there really isn't much positive stuff in your energy at this point in time, okay? Now, 
this is when things kind of got a little tricky for me, okay? So bear with me. Whatever show she's on, I see somebody getting fired behind her because of her. Or someone will be let go, fired, let go, whatever. And they may not be given a valid reason as to why they're being fired, but Whippy is behind it, okay? They are allowing me to see and feel that she is not somebody you want to cross in the industry because she is connected to a lot of people that more than likely write your checks. Now, whoever she's going to fire, they're allowing... This is so crazy because you think... People are key, 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 happy, happy, happy with each other when you see them on a talk show. But they're showing me a vision of nobody really engaging with Whoopi after the show ends or like commercial break or whatever. They're showing me a vision of everybody sitting together eating lunch and then Whoopi is by herself. One, because she wants to be, but two, because they're not really welcoming her in. So energetically, she's giving me the... That like, have you ever had a manager where you're like, okay, girl, be quiet. She's in a room. She's like that. Like they keep allowing me to feel like she has Uncle Ruckus energy. All right. Um, this is what spirit is telling me. Okay. Um, but anyways, back to the vision of her sitting in the break room by her, not by herself, but by herself at the table while the other, you know, uh, I'm about to say contestants, but while the other coworkers are you know, eating, you know, lunch with each other, it just lets me know she's not really liked. And I don't feel like she cares, okay? And they're allowing me to feel like she doesn't think that she's the problem. Like, why do you think you're eating fucking lunch by yourself? Nobody likes you, you know? I don't know. For me, I like to eat lunch by myself just because I don't really like to talk to people. But it's it's difference between wanting to do something versus people like kind of having to do it because nobody asks with you. Anyways, I see somebody getting fired behind her. OK. All right. Um, But like I was saying, she is the type of person where you don't really want to cross her in the industry because she is attached to so many important plugs that more than likely they'll they write your check. So you kind of gotta you know not necessarily bow down but be mindful of what you say to her because she's connected to a lot of um powerful people and there are two people on the show that don't like her okay one of them will be fired because of her okay they keep allowing me to feel like she's a work snitch now that is my prediction okay um anyways as i said previously before she is somebody that you do not want to challenge because not only will she dislike you if you challenge her, but if you work with her, she, and like actually work with her, like I'm saying like, you know, clocking, you know, she will make things uncomfortable as possible for you, okay? Um, so I opened my eyes, okay? I opened my eyes in a meditation um, to Google Whoopi's mother just to understand Whoopi a little bit more, okay? And her mother energetically, right, you know, was an incredible soul, very empowering, very loving, very nurturing, very intelligent. They're showing me a vision of her mother constantly telling Whoopi she was beautiful, you know? Um, but then Spirit showed me a vision of Whoopi going to school and this vision looked like Whoopi was in middle school and all of the students were bullying her, making fun of her for being dark skinned, making fun of her for being ugly. Even the teacher would teach her, would treat her differently in these visions, okay? So to me, this means her mother's love and constant affirmations wasn't enough because she listened to the naysayers. And I can understand a lot of people, and I, and I just want to say I can understand, you know, a lot of people, you know, only focus or can focus on the negative rather than the positive. This goes for family, this goes for opportunities, this goes for getting rejected, this goes for trolls on the internet, right? Um, you know, I can honestly say I empathize with Whoopi on this. You know, I think many of us, myself included, have experienced moments where rejection makes us question our worth. Even when we know we're loved deeply, it's easy it's easy to focus on the small fraction of doubt and it can sometimes overshadow all of the love we do receive, okay? I truly resonate with how she might be feeling in this situation. Additionally, though, 
the loss of her mother seems to have influenced her resistance to change. If that makes sense, okay? I've heard others say that after losing their mother, they stopped worrying about certain things or they stopped caring about life. It seems like any desire to change or improve may have faded with her mother's passing. And that thought of wanting to change, of wanting to be better, just no longer feels relevant for her. And I do want to say, I see her remaining stagnant in life energetically, emotionally, spiritually, and romantically. I am genuinely feeling, let's say she had five partners in her lifetime. I'm feeling like most of these men were good, but because of her being meticulous, because of her being, you know, extremely st strategic and just militant, it, it drives people away. Like I always, I always tell people, you know, with people like this, they got to live by themselves. They have to just do their own thing by themselves because it's too much. Like my mother's OCD, like a crazy 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 OCD and it bothers the shit out of me because I'm not OCD like I can thrive and mess a little bit I'm not I'm not I'm gonna keep it a humble I'm not dirty I'm not filthy but I can thrive and mess like and it's if for her it's green with green yellow with yellow that's 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 crazy look that's loca to me but energetically for Whoopi Whoopi, I am sensing all of the men that she's dealt with. And they, and once again, I would have to look this up, but they're allowing me to see that she only picks Caucasian men. Not because she loves them or, you know, she's attracted to them, but because she feels like black. Like she just keeps, they keep allowing me to feel like, so they're showing me a vision of her smiling, you know, in a white man's face than spitting at a black man. Like it just, it, it's, it's, it's self-hatred. It is self-hatred. I don't care what nobody tells me, but she's using black men, black people as a, as a, uh, like, kind of like projecting onto them, you know, but it's really just reflecting off of her. I see her remaining unhappy for the rest of her life. And as I said earlier, energetically, I feel like only her kids, you know, deal with her, you know, um, but just an unfortunate, unhappy, miserable soul. And they're allowing me to feel like if she has a cat, if she has a dog, if she has a bird, they hate the fact that she's their owner. Just yucky, 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 okay? I do see her living a lonely, um, stagnant life. Stagnant life. And um, it's just very unfortunate. And also... With her being on this talk show, they're allowing me to see and feel that she's not happy with being on this talk show. The energy that I get from her is, I'm Whoopi Goldberg. How dare you put me on a talk show? Like, I won Grammys. I won awards. Like, I mean, not Grammys, excuse me. I won Oscar awards. I won this. I won that. How dare you? You know, it, but she took it. So the energy that I get from her, honestly, is someone that has decided to stay at a job for 30, 40 years and they're miserable as shit and they take it out on the newbies or just people who are happy and full of life. And Whoopi, I gotta, I gotta say, you know, I, I'm kind of disappointed. You know, I, I always say this gift is kind of, you know, like a, a it, it's a gift and it's a curse because before this gift, honey, you would, you would have fooled me. But this is what I have for Whoopi Goldberg, guys. Wish me luck on this apartment process. Things are looking a little better for me. I don't know. Seriously, pray for me. Thank you for buying my wish list. Buying stuff from my wish list. I'm very grateful for that. I think I'm going to add some more stuff because, you know, I need to. Uh, but $40 for a picture reading, $72 for a 30 minute reading, and $144 for an hour. Bye, guys.